right. Your name and your position. My name is Chris Mullow, and I'm currently chairman of the board of the Blood Bank of Alaska. because it's the capital city of Alaska. And we have been interested in outreach for a long time, and now we're in the position that we are able to do that outreach. So here we are in Juneau with our brand new collection center, and we're glad to be here. Awesome. So what, um, what areas will this service, the Southeast uh, Blood Bank? The collection center in, in Juneau will service all of Southeast Alaska, we hope. We're here for the entirety of the state, and our mission in, in with the Blood Bank of Alaska is to serve the entire state. So it's not just metropolitan areas like Juneau, but we also hope to be able to serve communities like um, um, Huna uh, and Angoon as well, and also Sitka and Wrangell and Petersburg, and all of the communities of Southeast Alaska. Right, so you will um, send out mobile Yes, mobile units, right, for blood drives in all of those communities, absolutely. Okay, awesome. All right. Um, are there any current urgent needs for types of blood in the area? I've been asked that question before, and my answer is the most valuable blood is the blood that flows in your veins. And um, we, need, we need all the blood that we can get from the donors. In the bush, Alaska, um, it, it has to, we supply them with Oneg because they're generally stabilizing someone in the hub communities like Utkiavik or Kotzebue or Bethel or Dillingham and to get them to town where they can get more medical care. And so those communities will be, um, will be stocked with Oneg so that they can, because they just simply don't have the capacity to stock their shelves with every blood type there is. And so Oneg is a universal donor. And so that is what, um, that's, that, that's what we do. Oh, um, <clears throat> it's usually trauma, or it might, it might be um, some type of illness, or blood and blood products are also used in, in um, uh, cancer treatments. But uh, largely it's trauma, and in, in the event of a disaster, it might be a mass casualty event where a lot of blood is used. Lots of times blood is, is necessary uh, in childbirth. If something goes wrong and, and, and a mother begins to bleed out, then she's going to need a lot of blood to survive. Um, or if there is a problem that arises during a surgery. But most of the, most of the bl blood is, is about uh, responding to trauma of one kind or another, automobile accidents or hunting accidents. This last fall in, in, in Anchorage, we had a case where um, a, a, a patient was um, struck with an arrow and needed during bow season and need, no, who saw that coming and um, needed quite a few units of blood to be able to, to survive it. So lots of times summer is a busy season because people are out four-wheeling and boating, accidents occur and those folks will, will, will need blood to survive. But chances are, sometime during the course of your life, you or someone you love will need blood to survive. And it's not the kind of thing that people think about generally, it's the kind of thing they take for granted and that's quite all right. But when that need arises, it's the blood bank of Alaska is there to make sure that you or that person that you love has the blood he or she needs to live. Just that we are extremely happy to be here in Juneau, that we've been coming to Juneau for years doing mobile drives. We have over 2,000 registered donors in Juneau. The donors in Juneau are just the most enthusiastic, dedicated donors we know of. It is great to deal with donors in Juneau. Um, a lot of the donors in Juneau, as they pass through Anchorage, will stop and donate blood. So we're extremely happy to be here. We've been welcomed with open arms. People are very excited that we're here. And we're excited that we're here. And we're here to stay. Okay. 